Oh, is it really? Yeah, it's a 360 camera. Oh, is that ever cool? Yeah, so it sees all, all the way around. Oh, is that right, eh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so I noticed you, you do a lot of taping. Yeah, yeah, well, it's because I, you know, uh, you know, service to others. Okay. So, uh, service to others is when 51% or more of the things you do are, uh, to okay. and, uh, I can help more people by, uh, videotaping, you know, the lessons that we learn in our lives and then sharing them with people. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, like one of the things we're doing is making the new paradise communities. Okay. And uh, we're documenting all the stages of the process. Oh, that's cool. Like, uh... I used to be a videographer, eh? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, just locally. Uh-huh. You know, I've done a whole bunch of different things in my life. I'm a licensed chef. And, uh, uh-huh. You know, uh, missionary. Okay. all around the world several, several times. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I'm on air. Am I, am I live or no? Uh, no, no, no you're not good. live. Okay, that's good. Not yeah. that it barely matters. Yeah, it's it's going on YouTube. <laughs> oh, okay, well, yeah, I'll introduce myself because okay, go ahead. I think it's important that yeah, people know sure. who I am. Yeah, uh, my name is Ray Botton. Um, I'm affiliated with VLC Global Ministries here in Owen Sound, Ontario, Canada. Yeah. Okay. And um, I think it's important. Uh, the reason why I'm out for a walk here today is because I noticed Logan. I don't know Logan other than the fact that I was at a a uh, candidate's night for our local uh, election for our member of parliament and I noticed Logan uh, he stood out in the crowd because he's wearing green so I mean and in a different outfit but I really love the fact that uh, whatever uh, belief he has or doesn't have um, he stands out and he, he's obviously a leader and wanting to help people so uh, I'm today is just the uh, initial um, Get to know you and get to know what uh, Logan stands for and what what is uh, in his initiative uh, sounds interesting. So I really just want to listen, and uh, I'm introducing myself because um, I'm an open book. Uh, I've served our community in Owen Sound and around the world uh, in an outreach ministry, serving others, and um, being a part of really a, it's really honoring to be about someone else's uh, need because when we're reaching out we're really actually helping ourselves in the end because when we can think of others first my my uh my mentor really uh reverend randy kennedy has shown that over the years and in our faith as christians as i'm a christian but i really let me just say this i love to learn the ways of the lord and and it's not just christianity it's 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 people and that's why I'm here today. Okay, awesome. Great. So, uh, so yeah. What, what did, did you did you have any questions or? Well, one one is that your your outfit must has some meaning to it. It can't yeah. just be uh, just. Uh, oh right. Yeah. So uh, yeah, uh, I Maybe was. I'll just walk a bit slower, just easier sure. for me. Okay. Yeah, I was in Thailand for a month, and uh, I was a monk. Oh. Okay. And uh, there we had the orange robes. Okay. Uh, and then I was like, oh, I like these robes. Uh, can, can I wear them back home? And they're like, no, you, you can't wear them back home unless you're affiliated with one of our monasteries. Uh-huh. And I was like, well, what about in a different color, like uh, green or blue okay. or purple? And they said, yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay. So you're uh, a Buddhist, are you? Yeah. Well, uh, I, I'm calling it a green religion Okay. right now. That, that's right. what I registered a business name. Okay. So, um, because... It's it's more inclusive than just Buddhism. Okay. Since hi there. Hello. Hey, hi. forgiveness, compassion, uh, and c- unconditional love okay. are universal to okay. all faiths. All right. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. And the idea is that the age of peace has come, and the easiest way to grow into the new paradise timeline is to have forgiveness, compassion. An unconditional love for all beings. Okay. And then we can uh, co-create our new paradise uh, through our present moments by aligning our thoughts, words, and actions uh, with manifesting uh, the new paradise. Okay. It's, someday we'll have to have a, a discussion about about that because I uh-huh. do 
Um, well, we could do it right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, first of all, I'm part Jewish, and okay. um, my my lineage is uh, I'm a Levite, and my great 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 grandfather was Moses. That's a fact. Okay. Okay. And um, though I'm just I say part Jewish because really it's on my father's side. So any Orthodox Jew oh, would right. say I'm not I'm not a Jew. Right. Right. But I can't deny that uh, for centuries my forefathers were high-level rabbis okay and okay. so I attribute uh, or I honor them for uh -huh. the, the sacrifice that they gave to our communities mm -hmm. because there, it was a sacrifice throughout the centuries right. um, but yeah uh, some someday you know because we're you know in one sense there's peace but there's war because uh, people are unsettled but um, you might have an understanding of peace that is uh, coming. I do believe that Jesus said he's the Prince of Peace, uh, or at least the angels said that about mm -hmm. him when they declared it when he he was. Uh, I'm, so I'm a Messianic Jew. Let's just say okay, that. Okay. Okay. But um, uh, the common ground that we have already is the fact that we want. There's, there's the, the solution is about uh, uh, you know adding to someone's life because of love because we think of someone else first because. Uh, of these attributes that you're sharing and that kind of peace is very inviting anybody would mm -hmm. the whole world you know being part of an outreach ministry i can tell you people are unsettled they're hurting they're dying they're screaming out on the inside just to be loved and mm -hmm. and it, even, even as a leader or if you would consider myself a leader uh i i just know that um every day is a day of new discovery and yet people People are blanketed with uh, sorrow and hurt in so deep ways that they they're, they're wondering what where the next step is. So, tell me, Logan, what is your answer for 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 these uh, this initiative with um, uh, I don't know if it was housing or something you're right, involved right. with? It, I'm really interested to know okay, what yeah. you're so about so here. the the idea is. Um, uh, there was Dr. Chet Snow and Helen Wambach, uh, as well as a few other researchers, did future progressions on about 2,500 people. Okay. And then uh, of those of them who saw a future incarnation on Earth um, in uh, 2100 or 2300, 2500, 30 percent of them saw themselves in the New Age Paradise. Okay. Uh, and what it consisted of was uh, when you come out of your home uh, there's fruit and nut trees and it's, it's basically kind of like a new Eden uh, it's kind of a planned forest mm -hmm. uh, that has everything that you need uh, for sustenance and you have uh, communities where are uh, they're fairly close-knit they're basically intentional communities and they're fairly spiritual okay. uh, but there's also technology available okay um yeah <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so developing this community is it is it uh as far as work or you know uh to to be sustainable mm -hmm. is the work inclusive as a uh, collective is it um individual do they work outside the community how does this work okay uh oh oh these kids oh, are running yeah. okay Okay. <laughs> okay. So we can get past the children first. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Looks like they're on a outing from their school. Yep. Hi. Hi there. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Just requires a little concentration navigating. So, um, they, the idea, we have a 64 acre property. Uh, it's 24 hectares. In, in this local area? Uh, it's in Aaron Eldersley. So okay. it's surrounded by Mennonites. Okay. Who have, uh, well, a very similar belief system. Okay. Um, and uh, we're planning on rezoning half of it uh, campground. Okay. Uh, and then splitting it up into hectares. And then, uh, so, so that campground will be owned by uh, Tamarack Community Cooperative. Um, and then people can buy a land share 
Uh, so that's like one of the hectares, for instance. Okay. And then you can live uh, on the land here. Okay. And we grow it into a forest garden. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, people initially, while the forest is still growing, it's kind of just like a campground, but long term you can live there for longer. Because, uh, say, for instance, one hectare of land is enough to feed 300 kilos of human. Okay. Um, and so you, you could have about like four Caucasian or people, you know, depending on their size. Sure. <laughs> and how much they eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and how much they eat. Right, right. Well, I mean, like for, for an hour, like it just, I was thinking in terms of like me and, and my wife, Okay. Between the two of us, it's like 150 kilos, and then our kids, once they grow up, it'll be about the same, you know, maybe. Yeah. yeah. And but but I mean, they'll probably want to move out and get their own hectares. Okay. Uh, and and you generally want to have some spare room, anyways, because uh, like uh, like that that's kind of at maximum average capacity. Sure. Uh, yeah. It. it, it it seems to me, um, I know a friend who's developing a retirement by intergenerational community just outside Owen Sound. Mm -hmm. And um, it seems to me with the housing, national housing crisis, not just here in Canada, but in the United States, you go to all around the world, that's the way it is. Mm -hmm. But what we're experiencing right now in Canada, it's, it's a hot button issue. Uh, um, I've uh, throughout the years have uh, uh, really rallied behind this initiative to, for not just housing but uh, holistic housing because and not just housing but you know a purpose of a means and an end because people like I said you know it's one thing just to have a home but mm -hmm. uh, what you're talking about is a community you're right and this is what we're missing here in Canada aren't yeah, we? yeah well, a lot of people especially in the big city you know, they might have an apartment and food and a job, but uh, they may still be missing community. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing worse than having money, uh -huh. having your car, having your house, yeah. having your cottage, having your boat, yeah. and no one to share it with right. other than your family. And you might do that three or four times a year, and really, you're still empty because really, I believe it's the God factor. You know, God, God on the inside wants us to be able to live together it's just, it seems to me mm -hmm. uh you're on something good uh you're you're definitely going to go uphill because you know the municipalities they, they, they they're over regulated for for a lot of the you know to have uh proper service proper uh uh mm. funding this that the other thing the bureaucracy but i mean when you have something where you buy into, and this is what you're talking about, right, buy, right. buy, you know, that's a good Jewish term, mm -hmm. buying into something. When you buy into something, by the way, it's mm -hmm. because your heart's into it. Mm -hmm. And that's why um, today, uh, you know, just hearing what you're sharing sounds very interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so, so yeah, with me and Santo, Santo's the property owner, we're going over uh, to the planning, Chesley, I, th I think it was, um, next Wednesday. Oh, to okay. uh, talk to them, and we'll be doing a video there too. Oh, cool! So we're uh, documenting the whole experience. Mm. Um, and yeah, it, it is beneficial for the county. Like, camping is one of the number one things that people do in the Grey Bruce mm -hmm. area, yeah. Grey Bruce Old Sound. Even yeah. we have a campground right here. Yeah. Um, and so. It's just kind of like a natural extension. Yeah. Um, and having them, you know, being like sustainable paradise communities that's generally completely in line with all of their p official plans okay. and all of that. And right. uh, it does, you know, increase their income and all that other okay. stuff. So, so they have lots of incentive to cooperate. Okay, cool. Yeah. Which is unique for this area because, like, once, once you have a city already built then then you're looking at where do we uh you know because the, the truth is most most children don't even know what a cow looks like firsthand mm -hmm. they, 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 we, we could take a quick loop through english falls because we still have time 
Okay, I might have to go to the washroom. That's, oh, that's okay. All right, okay, yeah, sure. Well, that's fine. I didn't know the thing was called just over here, is it? Yeah. No, okay. Well, that's the gray sable conservation area. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. If you get past that, then it turns into English Falls. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... What's the interest rate now as far as what's... Right uh, now? Yeah. Well, well uh, we have, uh, uh, other than my family, two other families in Owen Sound that are interested in buying in. Okay. Um, and uh, some in international foreign investors who are interested. Okay. Uh, because basically they can buy the property and then get dividends on people camping there. Okay. So what, I don't know. If or, or like buy land share rather. Okay. So yeah. is it okay to ask like, you know, what, 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 what would it cost to, uh. So, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, right now, uh, the, uh, starting price is, uh, 12 K for a uh, hectare. And, uh, you can do that with a down payment mortgage kind of deal. Uh, so it's like, I'm not sure exactly the numbers, uh, but. 12 so about two two and a half thousand down and uh fifty dollars a month or sixty dollars a month or something well how, how much uh, down uh well well it's usually 20 percent, right okay yeah yeah so uh well see you can't yeah. go wrong anybody you know it's for for a lot of people in in canada not a lot but mm. uh, you know for those who have a house two thousand dollars uh, or even you know twenty. Let's just say twenty thousand uh dollars -huh. is really just chump change for some because yeah, it's like coffee money to some. Right, right. You know, uh, I yeah. Don't, so, I'm not, so it's, it's, <laughs> I'm not in that category, but yeah, you know. But that's true. Well, well, yeah. It, it is. It is geared to be affordable right now, and that's just kind of like the entrance. Sure. Uh, I think once we get like more people in, the price will probably start going up. Yeah. Uh, just because uh, there will be more. Uh, stuff already on site like right, right now our site is still it's mostly uh pine right and there's like a field and a pond okay uh and like some fruit trees and a few nut trees right but uh so yeah we we'd have to do like a lot of overhauling right uh to uh turn it into a paradise forest right um but but yeah and, and that will be increasing its value <laughs> sure and yeah. and mm -hmm. the whole thing is anybody you know, and I, you know, it's it's not like I've been asked. We, we just met, but mm -hmm. you know, a plug to, you know, when someone's in at the ground floor of anything, they look back, they go, "I should have done that," uh -huh. <laughs> and you have nothing to lose by, uh, you know, even, I, you know, I just wonder where I'm going with it, but, mm -hmm. um, it's all about relationship, though, yeah. isn't that's what it is? Like, yeah. You know, it's all. Did you want me to pause here? Uh, or, no, I think I okay, can go okay. over there yet. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, but see, people are looking. Like I said, you know, like eh, people are looking for something different, but something real and some something with uh, something that will have uh, long term. Uh, you know, when, when when a child looks nowadays, you know, they a child's growing up. This is what really, really bothers me. Hmm. We have a fatherless generation. We have children growing up. If you ask in, a, in, in any school how many parents are together, it, it, it is so, in Canada, it's like, you know, 70% of them have a broken family. Wow. Yeah, it, it's, 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 it's really that high. Mm -hmm. And sometimes in certain areas, it's even higher. Mm -hmm. And um, the sense of community and family uh, can uh, be molded back in when we have a community that is loving towards each other mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because then you're forced to get to know each other the good yep. and bad but but you're in an environment that has already started like you know just walking around here people people would just love to be able to go for a walk with us because you know the concrete jung jungle doesn't add to the nature that for hundreds of years people have lived with, eh? Yeah, a hundred thousands. <laughs> yeah, there you yeah. go. So, and so the, you know, the, uh, anyways, I don't want to be so uh, mechanical in my thinking, oh, okay. but I think it's, I think it's important to know 
where you stand as far as like uh, your faith is your faith involved or is it other people's faiths is it so, where, where does this community come together right uh, so right now we have a flexible entrance policy just just because we're, we're getting started but once um, once kind of we have more of a kind of a waiting list then we're planning on putting in like kind of entrance requirements like um, completing a basic course uh, like so the basic course it's a three month program and in it you uh, show that um, you, uh, so so we, we teach uh, to do a regular meditation mm -hmm. and so you would do a meditation for two thirds of the time two thirds of the days you know at least like f 10 to 20 minutes uh, and then you have a meditation log and then also uh, so that's for mental health and then for financial health, there is uh, actually j j just a little backwards there uh, in terms of the meditation. So that that's not not all of it. There's also a, kind of a once a month going to meditation group to uh, so that you can share uh, kind of your process and learn from others and things like that. Whatever is going on to help you, uh, you know, resolve any kind of mental conflicts and things like that. And then, uh, so, so then there's the financial aspect, which would be uh, doing your budget. Uh, so uh, basically doing a spreadsheet where you put in, enter all your expenses yeah. and uh, the things you buy uh, and taking pictures of, say, all of your receipts uh, so that you can do that at the end of the month. And then that way you can have uh, financial health by, uh, you know, putting all the, in all the calculations and then having your accounts and all that and we can help people understand how to do all of that and then there's the physical health aspect uh, which is uh, to follow the Canada health recommendations which is to do 10 to 30 minutes of uh, moderate uh, exercise at least three times a week okay. which is like biking or hiking or swimming or running okay mm -hmm. now um I mean, I see a good basis for, uh, you know, you know, especially for those who uh, struggle with just, you know, uh, the understanding of, you know, prospering in your life. Mm -hmm. uh, but the question goes back w with me because mm -hmm. <laughs> because you're dressed in what? What is your outfit? What would it be called? So, oh, a, a robe. Just a robe. Okay. Well, it's it's a it's a monk robe. Yes, okay. uh, it is it is the same as the Buddhist uh, monk robe in style. Okay. Um, the, the Tripitaka, I believe, and so there's the Samgati and the Utrasanga. So I believe this would be the Utrasanga. Okay. Yeah. I just I'm just taking it mm. to the fact. So, oh, okay. But yeah. but the fact that you're in a, in a in a robe and it has a spiritual connotation. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Where would a Christian, a Jew, a Muslim, a person with no faith come into play in this initiative? So, uh, basically, based on the research of uh, regression hypnosis, uh, like well, putting people into hypnagogic states by uh, Dolores Cannon and uh, Michael Newton, uh, who regress people to between lives. So we know what God is um, based on, say, for instance, when someone's regressed to the time when their soul is born, then they, they feel uh, oneness um, and uh, pure forgiveness, compassion, and unconditional love. And uh, when they're kind of uh, born, their soul is born, they, they see themselves coming out and it looks like a star and their soul is kind of like a solar flare. And uh, so, and though it's like, you know, this bright fire and everything, but the feeling is unconditional love and, and oneness. Um, and then all of us uh, come from, you know, uh, same type of source. And uh, we come here to learn or to help. So, for instance, the earth was having a lot of problems with violence. Uh, like, for instance, the Great War and the World War Two. And uh, then it made a calling uh, to have more souls to help uh, 
with uh, forgiveness and compassion, unconditional love. And so many people incarnated um, that, well, many of them were young souls, and some of them are souls from other, other star systems. And uh, so, you know, that whole hippie revolution, you know, let's try peace and all that stuff, that was all uh, kind of God's doing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, of course, you're talking about reincarnation. Yeah, uh, reincarnation is one of the fundamental teachings of Jesus okay. Christ. I, I would definitely disagree, but... Well, well, if, if you do the research, it's, it's very obvious. Um, be, be, <laughs> okay, go... Well, well basically... Uh, before about 550 AD, uh, reincarnation was in all of the texts. For well, there's no, there's no question that that belief has been there for hundreds, hundreds thousands of years. Uh, all, but all, all but of Jesus, Jesus is, all of Jesus's teachings, all of Jesus's teachings have, have mentioned it. It was only in 550 BC with uh, Emperor Justinian and his wife Theodora who did not like uh, reincarnation because it meant that they could reincarnate and be poor. And uh, w which was one of the fundamental teachings to help people understand why we have to take care of the poor. Because if you're part of the 1%, you have a 99% chance of being reborn as part of the 99%. Okay. Okay. Um, Okay. All so anyway, so 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 they they decided to cancel reincarnation, and they you know hung everyone and, that. And who was that again? Emperor Justinian okay. and Empress Theodora. And what, and what time period was that? It, it was it was about 550 A.D. A.D. Yeah. Okay. So and right. just after so, that, yeah. so he was also the last emperor because uh, after that, I believe Rome fell from grace for okay. doing such a. But the people act. of the way, yeah. okay, didn't mm. believe that. No, no, they they did, they did. No, they did. One hundred percent. Actually, yeah. Jesus, uh, like the, there is, there's another document. Uh, basically, a person was regressed to the time of Jesus Christ, and uh, they lived with the Essenes, but they got to interact with Jesus, and uh, they they knew about his life. And reincarnation was one of the main things that he was teaching people. There's no question. Jesus never taught that. I, I totally disagree. But uh, well, do you love Jesus? Uh, Jesus loves me. If anything, but do you he love loves Jesus? Me. Well, I, I'm. Let me just say, I know I love him, but I know he loves do me. Do you more. love his teachings? I love the fact that he, he speaks the truth. Sometimes I don't like his teachings because it forces me to change. Okay. But that's 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 the old self. But yeah, are you but, willing to learn what his teachings oh, are? Oh, absolutely! I'm a disciple of his. Okay, well then, yeah. then, then you would be willing to look back and see what his teachings are. Well, that's why that's why I asked you. Like, you know, I, okay. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't. <laughs> mind. No, I can't just dogmatically just say, "Hey, that I, I don't." But I have a reason why I can say that. It's not. It's not. It's you know. I I am. I won't say I'm a theologian, but I'm well on the way to be able to share. Uh, the truth to what I have learned, and oh, it's okay. not—it's not just my thinking. It's my—it's my, it's my uh, uh, years of uh, study. So, okay. you know, you know. But I mean, there's always something new right. to learn, right? Right. 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 And mm -hmm. uh, uh, and the great—you know—it's always good to be able to say uh, from your heart that you know you, you might today have one idea and tomorrow it might change, right? Right. right. But um, I. From from this standpoint, this vantage point, because we're we're uh, we're taping this uh, as a believer, uh, follower of Jesus, I can say that he 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 definitely only shared what his father would have him share, and that's my studies. I can say that he shared what what God had him to share, okay. and he was sent to share that, okay. and he was and is the exact likeness of God. In in, to, in total uh, truth to what he shared. Okay. Okay. Uh, but um, so so we disagree here. But I, I, I I'm know. looking uh, forward to. I'm looking. All right. I'm looking forward to uh, studying some of the stuff that you, you're sharing. We'll I'll write it down before we go. Okay. Sure, so sure. so I can be open to uh, that. But mm -hmm. but I definitely disagree. And uh, maybe another time we'll, I'll share what I, I've learned again, or you okay. know whether okay. he's right or wrong. Okay. Uh, you know. So, sure. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, I, I like. I know it, it was removed from the uh, the Christian doctrine, uh, though. Uh, 
like I said, by Emperor Justinian and Empress Theodora. There, there are some uh, various arguable elements which are uh, remain in the Bible, uh, but but really it's easiest to just go back to the source and verify before 500 AD. Um, you know, and, and I'm no scholar with the Dead Sea, Dead Sea Scrolls, but the original manuscripts, which there's well over 5,000 of them, mm -hmm. uh, would verify the Gospels. But what, 